Hello there! Welcome to Understanding the Item Squish, a guide to help you stop panicking about your power. In this video we'll discuss exactly how the Item Squish is going to work, how it'll affect you regardless of whether your role is that of a tank, a healer or a damage dealer, and how to prepare yourself for the big squish. Let's start by explaining something. No one outside of the internal testing team at Blizzard knows how the Item Squish is really going to work. It's probably being adjusted in all kinds of ways. So, regardless of what people say, including myself, make sure you remember that no one yet really knows exactly how it's going to work. That being said, we do have a rough estimation. The numbers in World of Warcraft, at the moment, are just too damn high. As an elemental shaman, I can hit for 300,000 or higher multiple times per second. A lot of classes can hit for upwards of 1 million or higher in a single spell. Bosses have hundreds of millions of health, and this is the problem. WoW is old. The system that it was designed on was used nearly 10 years ago when the game was launched. It's still being used today. Think about that. A decade of using the same underlying systems. They may have made some tweaks, but it's still the same system. Of course, the higher the numbers get, the more that system behind World of Warcraft stresses out. Back in Wrath of the Lich King, a lot of DPS classes had specific ways to regenerate their mana so that they could keep DPSing. For Enhancement Shaman, it was called Shamanistic Rage. This spell would cause you to regenerate mana every time you melee attacked for 15 or so seconds. Simple enough, right? Yes, but here's the problem. Imagine you're in a raid of 25 players. You're doing Ice Crown Citadel. You have anywhere between 15 and 18 DPSs. A lot of them have ways to regenerate their mana like this, in tiny little bursts. Not only is that a lot of numbers for the WoW system to deal with, but then you also have to think about add-ons. Things like Recount and Scudder, that tracked damage meters, would have to sift through the combat log and go through all of this miscellaneous mana regeneration. Think about that on top of everything else it had to track. Damage taken, damage done, dots, hots, healing, absorbs, dispels, deaths. It caused lag. A lot of it for some people. So, Blizzard changed a lot of mana regeneration for DPSs when the pre-Cataclysm patch came along. This was done pretty much just to reduce the lag and make things less arbitrarily complicated. The item squish follows the same line of thought. Think about the Garrosh fight. On 10 man normal, he has, effectively, 627 million health. On 25 man, he has 1.7 billion health. On the heroics, he can get upwards to 3.6 billion. Those numbers are insane! And it's part of the reason why he heals in between different phases. The system just can't handle 3.6 billion health. There's another reason why the item squish is happening. Satisfaction. I will admit, there is a great feeling to throwing out a massive bolt of evil doom energy, or going completely berserk and smashing something with an axe for, and hitting for six digits. It's awesome. But it stifles progression. Think about this. You're about halfway through the expansion. Throne of Thunder has just been released. You are a warlock. You go destruction. Your big smack in the face for loads of damage spell is Chaos Bolt. You have a mixture of rare and epic items. You fire your Chaos Bolt at a raid boss, and it deals 301,462 damage. Cool. Let's say a few weeks pass, and you're in better gear. Maybe you've got rid of all of your rare items, and replaced them with epics. You fire your Chaos Bolt at the same raid boss, and it deals 322,688 damage. That's an extra chunk of damage, but it's not noticeable. You can't, at a single glance in the middle of combat, see that you've grown more powerful. You know it's there, but it's nothing like this example. Imagine you're now back in Wrath of the Lich King, about halfway through that expansion. You're in mostly rare gear. You have about 15,000 health. You fire your big damage spell, but imagine that it's still Chaos Bolt. And it deals 20,480 damage. Not nearly as satisfying as Mr. Pandaria Chaos Bolt, is it? Sure, but think about this. You gear up. You do some raids. You get more epics. You now have 20,000 health. That's 5,000 more. And you can see it in your health bar. It feels like much bigger of an increase than going from 400,000 to 420,000. You fire your Chaos Bolt. Now instead of 20,000 damage, it deals 32,612. That's an extra 10,000 damage that you can see. You can see that the 2 becomes a 3. You can see the big smash of damage. That's another reason why this item squish is going to happen. You'll be able to see your progression in the numbers you deal. You won't have to say, oh, now I do 150k DPS over a fight. Oh, now I do 200k. Now I do 300k over a fight. No. Instead, you can say, I used to hit that for 30k. Now I hit it for 40k. You can see the difference in power instantly. 
Now, most people who hear of the Iron Squish think that the players are going to get weaker. The numbers are going down, right? Let me make this clear. We are not getting weaker. We are not going to be losing any power compared to the rest of the game. Let's take another example. Let's say you solo Ragnaros in the Molten Core. He has about 1 million health and you hit for 300,000 per big attack. You can kill him really fast and really easy. Then the item squish happens. Suddenly you hit for 30,000 per attack. Oh no! You can't solo Ragnaros! No. Now, you may only hit for 30,000, but his health will go from being 1 million to being 100,000. You'll still kill him in the same amount of attacks. His health will still plummet at the same rate it did before the item squish. Now, let's say you're a tank. You have 1.1 million health. You're a bastion of defense. The bosses haven't got anything you can't handle. They hit you for 400,000. That's nothing. With a good healer at your back, 400,000 is a bump in the road. Oh, they hit you for 800,000. Bah, you've still got more to give. A good cooldown will keep you going. Suddenly, bam, item squish. You now have 110,000 health. Oh gods, you're going to die to a stiff breeze. No, 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 no. The bosses won't be hitting you for 400,000 anymore. They'll hit you for 40,000. That's still nothing. You can handle that easy. 40,000 damage might make one of them cowardly DPSs panic, but not you. You've got 110,000 health. Why do you care? The same goes for the healers. You might have 300,000 mana and upwards of 10,000 spirit. You regenerate mana faster than you can spend it. You're throwing out the big heals, the 80Ks, the 100Ks, the 200Ks. Bam, 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 bam. You keep your raid alive. Then, bang, item squish. Suddenly you have 30,000 mana and 1,000 spirit. Oh no, the mana, it's all gone. Relax. You'll still regenerate mana at the same rate. You'll still throw out the heals that save the raid. When you pop all your cooldowns and smash that big healing button, the raid is still going to make it through the damage. The green bars are still going to be going up, not down. Now, all of the things I just said are subject to change. Why? Because the item squish isn't the only thing happening in Warlords of Draenor. Classes are being changed. Tanking is changing. Healing is changing. These are just examples about how the item squish will work in general. The numbers that I've made up, and I have made them up, are just examples of what you can expect. That brings us on to the last topic. What should you do to prepare yourself for the item squish? Nothing. It's as simple as that. Your power is staying the same. The enemy's power is staying the same. Everyone, in every aspect of the game, from killing Scorpions and Juratar, to prying off Deathwing's armor plates, to going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Garrosh Hellscream, to doing massive PvP battles, to tactically annihilating your enemies in arenas, everything is going to be lowered at the same rate. Stop panicking. You are still going to kick ass and take names, regardless of what area of WoW you focus on. Except for pet battles, they probably aren't going to get squished. They're small enough as it is. That's it for this guide. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any thoughts, feedback, advice, or anything like that, leave a comment below and make sure you like or dislike the video and give me reasons why so that I can improve. As always, I suggest subscribing to catch these videos as soon as they come out. Everything you do to share the channel and my videos is a gigantic help. Thank you very much for watching, and best of luck with kicking ass and taking names when Warlords of Draenor reaches us.